final phase of opening uh, our restaurant up. So we'll actually be serving food to the public uh, in about four weeks. And we've been uh, working real hard at it. We've got a small brewery there as well, a 20 barrel uh, brew house that's part of the restaurant. We'll be doing beer camp like we do in Chico and brewing special beers for the restaurant and the local community. What is the advantage of having a brewery on the East Coast? Well, as we grew over the years, we were shipping more and more beer from Chico all the way to New York and uh, other places on the east that were quite costly to ship to. Uh, a lot of energy, uh, a lot of uh, carbon footprint concerns. So when we were originally uh, thinking about we're out of capacity in Chico, what are we going to do? Should we add more here? We really had some concerns about the long-term viability of that business model. A lot of our uh, readers might not be aware, but you guys are constantly pushing innovation. Can you talk about why that's important to a brewery? You know, I think it's important to a brewery, and it's also important. Uh, uh, it's important to our consumers who are actually wanting to sample you know, different types of beer, different styles of beer, and want to want to learn more about beer. So we've been, I think, part of the wave that's helped grow uh, craft beer drinkers and the craft brew movement. Um, by offering things other than light lagers and, and fairly simplistic beer styles. And sour beers and barrel aged beers are becoming popular. What do you think the next big thing in craft beer is? Uh, you know, probably uh, back a little bit to balance and drinkability and, and sessionability. Uh, you know, I think people do want to be able to go out and enjoy an evening with their friends and have more than one beer. And, Super high alcohol and super hoppy beers are, are great, but you can't uh, you know spend the evening having several friends without having it to take its toll. So you know, for us as brewers and friends of ours are brewers, we're getting back to really well balanced, very drinkable, interesting beers, but they don't necessarily have to be really sour or really strong or really hoppy.